I'm Emily from the Primary Art Class and this is Home Art number five. So today we're going to look at some still life drawing because what I really want to do is help you build confidence with your drawing skills so you feel better about how you approach observational drawing. Observational drawing is when you look at the things that you're trying to draw, you look at them really closely and you draw what you can see. Now in my normal life, when we're not in lockdown, I help teachers to teach art to children, as well as helping children with their art. And what comes up again and again is that adults will say to me, I can't draw, I'm rubbish at drawing. So the first thing to remember is that everybody can draw, okay? We're all capable of producing drawings. And so today's lesson is gonna be about building your confidence and also giving you some skills. We're going to be doing some still life drawing. Now still life paintings and drawings are when artists have a collection of objects, sometimes natural objects like flowers and sometimes man-made objects and they arrange them on a surface and then they make an observational drawing or painting of those things. So the first thing I would like you to do is to have a look around your house and find about five, four or five objects that you would like to make your drawings of. One or two objects that are a bit taller, and then some that are medium and some that are shorter. Because when we arrange our still life, we want to create an interesting composition. White paper underneath your composition will help you to see the shadows better. And I also recommend using a lamp rather than natural light. Natural light changes a lot, whereas a lamp will stay the same. Okay, so now we've set up our composition, it's time to get warmed up. So in the same way that when you do exercise, or you go for a long run, or you play football, you warm up, we're gonna do some warm up exercises before we do the more serious, longer bit of drawing. So what I'm gonna show you now are two or three fun drawing exercises that are gonna make you a little bit more relaxed about your drawing and hopefully build your confidence. So for this exercise, you're going to take your drawing tool and put it into the hand that you don't normally use. That means if you're right-handed, the pen or pencil goes into your left hand, and if you're left-handed, it goes into your right hand. And then have a go at drawing what you see. Remember, you're drawing your composition of objects. It's going to feel very weird. Right, so this is the second drawing exercise. You can use the hand that you would normally use to draw with. However, once your pencil or pen, whatever you're drawing with, touches the piece of paper, you must not lift it off again. So it will be one continuous line that creates your drawing. The temptation is to lift your pen or pencil up every now and again. So this is really tricky. It's not gonna be your best ever drawing because the lines are gonna crisscross around each other, but just relax and have a go. Remember to look at the objects while you're drawing them. This next one is tricky. You can use the hand that you normally use for drawing, so if you're right-handed, use your right hand, but, you've got to cover over the top of the piece of paper that you'll be drawing on, either with another piece of paper or a piece of cloth. So you're not allowed to see what you're drawing as you are drawing. It's really tricky. Have a go. So remember, no peeking. Well done for doing those exercises. They're really a bit tricky and can feel a bit uncomfortable sometimes, can't they? But trust me, they're designed to increase your confidence and increase your skills in observational drawing or just drawing really. So when you were doing the drawing which meant that you were holding your drawing tool in your non-dominant hand, so that's the hand that you don't normally use, you probably felt that you couldn't grip the pencil really tightly and you had to be a bit looser and not worry so much about what was coming out. So we definitely want to keep that bit of learning. When you were doing the drawing where you couldn't take your pencil off the page, 
you probably again felt that you couldn't really control the drawing so much you had to be a bit more loose and have a bit more fun with it really good to keep that spirit whenever you're making a drawing and then the last one where you could only look at the objects and you weren't allowed to look down that is really key when we're making observational drawings we want to spend most of the time looking at the things we are drawing not looking down at our piece of paper you must spend most of your time looking at the things you are drawing and quickly glancing down at your pen or pencil and paper so you're looking drawing looking drawing like that now you're ready to put all that learning into practice your still life composition is set up and you're nice and warmed up Remember that you need to observe the objects more than you look down at your paper. Spend most of the time looking at your objects. It's an observational drawing. Good luck.